everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. Please forgive me, I am just the, the teeniest, tiniest little bit late for this whole uh, back to school trend. You see, I ordered stuff from Wish, but it didn't really occur to me that it takes upwards of one month to two months for stuff from Wish to arrive. It was the back to school season and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do a back to school haul. And I waited and I waited and I waited and still not everything is here. However, that being said, I think there is about 40 items here in front of me right now. I did spend over $700. I reckon maybe 400 of that was the cost of the actual items and then the rest of it was shipping. But for me, I like to just sort of uh, consider that the shipping cost and the actual cost are one in the same thing. I feel like a lot of the time these sellers on Wish, they can make it come across as though you're getting a really, really good deal, but then they just kind of bump up the shipping price. So just be aware of that. You know, sometimes you'll see things that are free, but the shipping's $11. So if the shipping was $11, the item isn't really free. Like, just keep that in mind. Not all $700 of stuff is here, but I figure I'll open what is here, and then when the rest of it arrives, I'll let Archie unbox that. <laughs> Let's jump into this stuff. But how, hang on, wait, before I do, there's timestamps below if you wanna skip ahead, if you don't wanna hear me talking. But I just wanna tell you a little bit of a story about my obsession with kawaii stationery. When I was in school in grade four, now, up until this point, I had never seen Asian stationery before. I had never seen a cute pencil case in my life. And a girl called Vivian started at my school. Now, she had just moved to Australia from China and she was seated next to me and I used to help her practice English. So we used to talk a lot and we'd practice at lunchtime and after school and things like that. And one day, as a way for her to say thank you to me, she gifted me a bunch of stationery that her family in China had sent her. I'll never forget it. I, I will literally never forget this. I still have this present that she gave me. But anyway, she just said thank you and she like handed me this diary. And it was the cutest thing I have seen in my entire life. I remember being like, what is this? Where did it come from? Like I had never... You know, school books and diaries that I had seen always looked like this, you know, like plain Jane, very, very boring, basic stationery. And all of a sudden, she gave me this magical little diary and it was full of stickers and it had little characters everywhere and it had cartoons and it had like little things hanging off it, little charm things. And I was just like, I treasured that forever. But I could never find anything like that. Like she, so once every couple of months, she would gift me some cute little stationery item. Like she'd give me pens and they'd have little things hanging off them or she'd give me a diary or she'd give me like a notebook or she'd give me a pencil case. And I had this little tiny collection of stationery and her family used to send it from China like as presents. They just send her little gifts and stuff. But there was nowhere in Australia that you could buy that. I became addicted, but I couldn't get my fix very often. <laughs> One day, a store called Morning Glory opened in Australia, and it was like the only place that you could go to buy cute stationery. And I remember when that place opened, I went crazy with the $10 that I had worth of pocket money saved up for a year. So I just remember I bought like three pens with my $10 and I treasured them. And I used to be the only kid in school in my class one of the only kids that had cute stationery, like everyone else would just have basic stationery. So people would steal from me all the time. They'd see me with my cute stationery and then sometimes things would go missing. And then a couple of weeks later, I would spot someone on the other side of the classroom using my pen with like some cute little pig dangling off it. Or like they would have my Gouda Thomas stationery or my Hello Kitty stationery. And I'd be like, excuse me, that's mine. And they're like, no, it's not. You know, you know how kids are. So anyway, I was always fiercely protective of my cute stationery because everyone wanted it and no one was allowed to have it but me. I was like, Smeagol, my precious. That was my obsession. That's where it started and it never stopped. That was in grade four when my friend ignited that kawaii stationery passion of mine. And all the way through, all the way through high school, throughout university, I have always been obsessed with cute stationery, but I have never really been able to find it very often. It's always just in these occasional stores that you find in Australia. So like when I go to Japan, I just buy stuff right, left and center and bring it all home with me, I hoard it. When I saw that Wish had a huge amount of cute stationery, I just, I went berserk. I, I, I went berserk. However, seeing as I myself am not in school anymore, I am 25, I've graduated university, I have basically no need for stationery, 
because I just use my computer and my phone for everything. Because of that, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna buy a bunch of stuff that I probably don't even need, but I'm gonna do a giveaway. So if you hang around through this video, I'm gonna give away, look, I know it's a bit late, at the time when I bought this stuff, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna send someone, I'm gonna send four people back to school with a brand new school kit. But everyone's already gone back to school. But hey, you know what? Every Monday is back to school, right? Right? So someone can technically go back to school once they win this giveaway with a brand new stationery set. So there'll be a bag, pencil case, pens, all sorts of cute things. So hang around and you'll see all of the stuff that I unbox that I'll be giving away. The thing is, I just, I always loved to stay, I didn't have very many friends in school, I really didn't, but I had a lot of cute stationery. So uh, I always used to think to myself, look, who needs friends when you've got cute pens? Am I right? Am I right? The very, very, very first thing isn't actually from Wish. I just posted an AliExpress haul last week and this was supposed to be part of that haul, but it hadn't arrived yet. So I just figured I'll open it now so you can see. Uh-oh, I don't have scissors. Sam! Wow. I need scissors. <laughs> it's not bring me the tea, it's... Bring me the, ah, uh, nah, stop. This is exciting. I feel like, yes, I know this is a wish haul and this is from AliExpress, but this is also a back to school haul and this would be pretty cool for back to school. It's a gigantic puffy jacket with clouds on it. Ain't that just the cutest thing you've ever seen? This was expensive. I don't recommend anyone on a budget buys it. There's a pocket on the inside with a zip. There it is. How cute is that? I feel like if you're going to school and it's cold and you need something to keep you warm, you could wear this. This is too cute. The hood unzips. There's a zipper here so you can take it off. So there you go. Buy one of these from AliExpress and then get your stationery from Wish and you're good to go. Okay, so I'm going to start with bags. So I bought a bunch of backpacks because, you know, we, we want a little bit of variation. You don't want to be stuck with the same bag all the way through school, right? You, you want to be able to switch it up and keep it fresh. In Australia, it's compulsory to wear uniforms in most schools. So the most self-expression that you could get, if you were lucky, was having a unique school bag. A lot of schools, they tell you which school bag that you have to wear. But in some schools, it was up to you. And that was basically the only element of school where you could express yourself was your school bag. So bag number one. Now I got this because there's a cat on it. And I, unlike Archie, I do like cats. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so it says Neko. That says Neko, which means cat in Japanese. I can't read the kanji, maybe someone else can. And then it's got cat, and then it's got this little cat here. Now, this is a really, really thick canvassy material. I feel like this would be very sturdy if you were trying to carry... I was gonna say if, if you were trying to carry books and stuff, but look, there's more. There's a mini bag. I didn't expect that. Wow. Oh, what? There's more. What? Oh, I forgot. This is like a four piece set. So there's a little teeny tiny bag like this. I guess you can use it for your bus pass or for coins or something like that. Then there's, well, this one, this would be good for coins because there's a zip like this. Oh, sorry, mate. There's this one, which appears to be like a shoulder bag like this, and then there's the backpack. I gotta say, these are made surprisingly well. You always, you think the stuff that you're gonna get on Wish is gonna be really, really crappy, but if you look at the reviews and you choose wisely and you get things that have the little blue tick if they're verified, you can get some really good stuff. I feel like you're literally completely set for school with something like this. Like you have everything that you need, ever. Definitely, you could fit a, a laptop in here, you could fit your school books, you could fit a naughty bird. Yep, fits a bird really well too. Hi. Bag number two. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I've been eyeing this off for so long. I have seen this, I've seen this on a lot of different websites and I've seen it in pictures on Instagram. Wow, look at this. Ah, how cute is that? Oh, okay, I think my light is definitely too bright. Definitely, because you can hardly see the bag. Wait, I'm sorry, forgive me. How cute is that? This is kind of like a, what do you call this? Like a fake leather kind of material. The straps feel a little bit gross. They're a little bit plasticky, but the overall look of it is so cute that I think you can excuse the straps feeling a bit cheap. Here's what it looks like inside. So this would absolutely fit a laptop and some books and your pencil case and your purse and anything. I mean, what do school kids even take to school these days? Tamagotchis, I don't know. That'll fit everything that you need. That is to die for. I'm obsessed and the pink is amazing too. So item number three. 
Whoa. <laughs> okay, so I bought this because it reminded me of some bags that I've seen in Harajuku a few times when I go to Japan. Check this out. How cute is that? This is so heavy. I feel like because it's got all these buckles and things like that, it's really, really heavy. So that could almost be too heavy. Like that, that's annoyingly heavy. Oh yes, Archie, there's a tag. Archie's unhealthily obsessed with tags, if you didn't know. This is amazing. This has a whole bunch of different pockets on the inside. Don't know if you can see, but there's a bunch of different pockets there to keep different things in. This would, once again, fit a laptop, it would fit books. How do these fronts... Okay, so these straps, I thought they might pop open. You have to actually undo them like this, which could get a little bit tedious. Okay, that's really annoying. I don't like these very, very front straps. They're really annoying to undo. But once they're undone, this part pops open and then you can unzip this. And then there's even more room. So uh, because it's so hard to get into this front part, you can put your cute stationery in there, zip it up, lock it up with this, and then no one can steal it. <laughs> Filthy hobbit says. And then the last bag. Now I did get other bags as well, but they just haven't turned up yet. Look, Archie, you like this color? So we're going with the cat theme again here because, you know, if you're a school kid and you want to look cute, what better way to do it than with stuff that has cats on it. That's this bag. This feels a little bit cheap, like it's a very, very thin fabric, but it's also very tough feeling fabric, like really, really tough. So this pops open like that and then you just put the stuff in through a hole in the top like this. I don't know if this would fit a laptop because I feel like this part isn't quite wide enough or at least not for a 15 inch laptop, maybe for a 13 inch. But it would fit books for sure. That is a really, really cute bag. I love the little cat with the little paws and the paw print here. And this came in heaps of different colors too. So I'm beyond happy with all of those bags. They are adorable. So the next thing that I'm gonna crack into is I think pencil cases because I got a fair few of them. First one, ah yes. Okay, so this is like, for a bus pass, so you could, or you know, bus pass or cards or ID or whatever you want to put in there. <laughs> Archie, you're not helping. You're not. So it's like a water bottle. That is really, really cute. And this is surprisingly well made. I'm really kind of like shook by how well made that is. It's got a little zip here, and then you can keep whatever in there, whether it's cards or coins or anything like that. That is so, so sweet. I love it. I feel like you could hang that off your own school backpack or you could just keep it inside your bag, but seeing as it's got that little keychain on it there, you could hang it off things too. Okay, this is a another thing for a bus pass. This is my Melody. Oh, it's on a lanyard. Okay, so this came in a few different designs. It says, a cute rabbit, my Melody. It's like a little milk bottle. And then you can put your ID in there. So this is, I'm quite surprised by how well made this is too. Now I don't know how authentic this would be, whether or not it's official Sanrio or not. I kind of doubt it, seeing as it's from Wish. But you never know, there are some legitimate things on these websites. Look, that's just too precious. I love that too. What do you think, Archie? Eh. Okay, pencil cases. <laughs> I know so many people are gonna like this. This is the character, a peach, I think his name is, a peach. This is so cool, look. So on one side, he looks like this. And on the other side, he looks like this. This isn't leather, it's fake leather, but it feels so well made. Me when I'm hungry, me when Daniel brings me food. <laughs> I'm so excited about these. Okay, this is so ridiculously cute. You guys aren't gonna believe this. Look, it's like a tube of toothpaste but it's got strawberries on it. How cool is that? So this top part, if you pop this open, it's a pencil sharpener. How cool is that? You open it and then it's a pencil case and it's moldy inside. Oh my God. It's literally moldy inside. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Look, it's, it's moldy inside. <laughs> okay, just, just gonna zip that one back up and gonna use a biohazard suit next time I touch that. <laughs> so, next. <gasps> I couldn't believe this when I saw this. Uh, like, I saw it on Wish and I was like, no way. Like, that is too, too cute. Look, look at this gigantic zipper. How cool, how amazing is that? It's a huge zipper. It's green as well, so Archie's obsessed. This is made exceptionally well. So this is, what are these guys called again? I can't even remember. I'm gonna put their name here because I, I can never remember what they're called because they have kind of like a 
convoluted name. That is so cute. Honestly, the zipper, the zipper when I saw that, I just couldn't resist. I was like, that is beautiful. <laughs> Such a cute pencil case. These pencil cases, I couldn't pick because when I saw the designs, I thought they were all too cute. So I just got one of each. So these will definitely be part of the giveaway. There's four pencil cases with different peach designs. Okay, so design number one, it says peaches, white peach. It's very simple, very cute, delicious. Design number two is black and it has a whole bunch of maths equations all over it alongside some peaches. Design number three, I think is probably my favorite. It says peaches, but it's got this like grid pattern on it and it reminds me of this skirt that I got from AliExpress and nothing's better than matchy matchy. And design number four is just covered in peaches. It says something, but I can't read it. It says peaches and then it says, in order to be irreplaceable, stays be ballerina. I, I, I have no idea what that says, but it's cute. Honestly, I just could not choose between them. I was like, how do I pick just one? I just, I just have to get all of them. And then the last pencil case, once again, I couldn't choose. These are designed to look like food packets. So the first one is honey butter case. Have you guys ever tried honey butter chips? They are literally the most delicious thing on the planet, on the planet, like hands down, without a doubt, the most delicious thing ever. I like what's written on it. It says, the delicious pencil case. If you like your sauce sweeter, you could add a quarter to a half cup sugar to this. Uh, don't do this at home. <laughs> it says potato, 100% me. That's super cute. And then the second one is cookies. Oh my God, no way. This <laughs> says gluten-free bonbon. <laughs> Tati would like this. Chocolate cookie case, brown rice cookie and waffle mix. 150 calories. There is literally, there's enough detail on this case that it actually tells you the calorie count. They are too cute. How amazing is that? I feel slightly overwhelmed. Uh, what next? I think I'm gonna do notebooks next. So the first one, I wish I'd had something like this in school. Oh, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Look, it literally looks like a block of chocolate with a bite taken out of it. That is amazing. Oh my God. It smells like chocolate! <laughs> How do they do that? That's insane! So uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a notebook. How cute is that? It literally looks like actual chocolate. I am beyond shook right now. Like this is too cute. Oh my God. I just, and I can't believe how nice it smells. Okay, next. Okay, this, I, from memory, this was expensive, but I thought I'd give it a try because sometimes I don't mind trying expensive things from Wish if they're good. I mean, it, it always sucks if you pay a lot of money and the thing is crap. Wow. Wow. We have a shop here in Australia called Kiki K and it's very expensive. And this is just like something from Kiki K. Oh my God. This, <gasps> this is so, this is so cute. I'll give you a close up. Wow, look at these pages. Look at these pages, they're so cute. Oh my God, there's a sloth, dinosaurs, there's a camel, a hedgehog. An owl, oh, this is so cute. This is ridiculous, what the hell? I cannot, I, I can't, I can't, like, I can't. I would literally go back to university and study a master's degree just so I could use this. <laughs> this is amazing, wow. And it's even got like a little pony on the front. How cute is that? That's so, so beautiful. I'm dead, I'm dead. Man, you know, if there was a book like this, it might even tempt me to read something. And the last notepad, I have very high hopes for this. I think I know which notepad this is because it feels huge. Okay, so the thing about this brand, this is called Bentoy. Now, Bentoy is, I believe, a brand out of China and they make some beautiful things. It says Pink Motel and, and it's got gridded pages. Oh, and it's got dates. It's got pages with the days as well. And I like that it doesn't have the dates written on the pages because then it's not like dedicated to a particular year. So you can use it anytime. It's got, oh, it's even got a pen. Wow. It's got a section in the front here for all of your cards. And in the back, it has this little pocket here too. Don't know what you'd want to use it for, but the good thing about this is the notebook itself does actually come out of this book, out of this 
you know, front part. So once you fill up the notebook, you can always take it out and then replace it with something else. It's been a long time since I wrote in a diary, but this takes me back to being like a moody 16 year old. Dear diary, mood apathetic. Now I'm gonna do all the accessories. So I got a bunch of random little school related accessories that people might need. I am so ready for this. This is so cute. There was so many different designs. adorable is that? It's literally like, it's like a bunny, but it's a water bottle. It's a bit small. Like, you know, kids, you gotta drink like three liters of water a day, right? That's, that's one cup of water. But, small bodies, small bladders, if you're in school, maybe you don't need to drink that much water, so maybe this will work well. Next, if this is what I think it is, this is gonna be great. Oh, <laughs> what do you think this is? Any guesses? Any guesses? Going once, going twice? Archie doesn't like it. This is a thermos. Look at that. Isn't that insane? <laughs> this is like, today's special. You're lucky I have water. <laughs> it literally says, today's special. You're lucky I have water. <laughs> Look at that. It's like this super skinny ombre thermos. So I guess you can put hot water, cold water. It smells like It smells like tea. <laughs> That'd be why. What are you? Green environmental protection, low carbon. <laughs> Don't drink this. Wow, I'm dead. I, this is literally the coolest. <laughs> this is the coolest thermos I have seen in my life. No pun intended. I love it. There were different colors, different designs, different styles, but I had to go for the bluish purpley pink. Next up. Aha. <laughs> they've sent me the wrong thing. Because from memory I ordered two different designs and it looks like they've sent me two of the same design. So that makes this an easy one for a giveaway. It's a water bottle. It says, find your flamingo. It'd be even better if it was find your parrot because he's missing right now. Archie. So this part screws off like this. So you can fill it up like that. But I think that you can also, instead of having to unscrew the whole top, I think you can just, ah yes, you can just unscrew that. How cool is that? So they sent me two of the same design. I did order two different designs, but I think something's gone wrong somewhere along the way. So I'll leave one of these boxed up brand new for the giveaway. I just, <laughs> that is too cute. I feel like, imagine pulling this out as your water bottle or pulling this out as your water bottle or even this. You know, I was setting out to make it that you'd be the cutest kid in school if you pulled out any of these things from your school bag. So I feel like I've achieved that. I, I don't think there'd be many other kids in school that would have anything like any of these. So there you go, you can thank me later. All right, what are you? Phone case, because I felt, you know, like if you're going back to school, may as well have a new phone case as well. Look, how cute is that? I'm gonna put this on my phone. So I have an iPhone 7 Plus, oh my God. How cute is that? It's, this is liquid. Archie likes it. So it's got liquid inside, so the little confetti on the inside moves around. It feels really nice, it's very, very thin, so it doesn't make your phone too bulky. I think from memory this came in different colors too. That is one of the cutest phone cases I have ever seen. It even has a little protecty bit for where the phone charger goes. Okay, what are you? <laughs> Once again, I have found something that is somewhat too cool for school. It's literally too cool for school. Like if you turn up to school with this, they'll send you home. This is a water bottle. How crazy is that? So I think, ah uh, yes. So this unscrews like this, and that's how you that's how you drink from it. A little bit awkward, but it's very streamlined. So you can put it into your school bag with your books and stuff, and it's just it sits flush and flat. And this is surprisingly well made. Like I thought that it would be really really cheap, but this actually just feels like something you would get from any sort of like shop that sells lunch boxes. 
I have seen people on Instagram and they put like fruit, like blueberries and chopped up strawberries and things like that inside. And it just looks sick. Like it looks like a, an ice cube or something, you know, like it's so cool. And then what's this? Ah, lunchbox. Couldn't get a bunch of water bottles and not get a lunchbox. Look at this. It's an owl. It's really unusual material. It kind of feels really, it feels rubbery, but it's plastic. It's really strange. This is quite big. Like I thought online it looked a little bit smaller, but it's really big. It's got these little wings like this. How cute is that? And then it pops open and it's got mm, delicious foam. Yum. Archie, come on. It even comes with a spoon. So it's got two different compartments. It does feel a little bit cheap. I don't think you're gonna find a design like this that is really, really well made. Like, I feel like you just kind of have to settle for this sort of quality. Archie doesn't agree. Archie! Let me, let me go get him. What's that? What's that? You know what, if we ever came out with merch, I would totally make an Archie lunchbox. Oh my God, look at him. You like it? Oh, 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 you think it's a birdie. Who's cuter? Peekaboo. 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 You wanna kiss? friends. We're all friends here. We are flock. What's this? Ah, yes. I hope that this actually works because I feel like a lot of people are going to scream when they see this and they're going to love it. This is a USB. Now I'm pretty sure I, they, this came in different sizes but I got the 16 gigabyte. It's a unicorn and it's made very well, like stupidly well. I'm dead and I don't believe it. How do you open? like that. There you go. So you just, you know, graciously tear his head away from his body and uh, plug him into the computer. Doubles as a keychain as well. It's got a little thingy thing on it. And that is too cute. I'm pretty sure this came in different colors as well and it came in different USB sizes. So this is 16 gigs. Oh, I have a giant bag here full, and I mean full of stationery. Whoa. Oh, look. Okay. These are pens with cats on them. They Each cat has a different look on its face. They are so cute. Archie's going straight for the somewhat greeny blue one. Oh, the white one. You like them, Archie? What do you think? You want to show our friends? You want to show them? What are you going to do with that? You don't have hands. You can't write like that. These are really cheap too, so I'll test out how they write. We'll see how we go. Too cute. Literally too cute. Too cute for school. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nothing to see here. Okay, what are you? Oh! <gasps> Okay, these are erasers. They are shaped like macarons. So they come in this little tray like this and they are multicolored macarons and Archie's seen the green, seen the green. I'll have to test them out on paper and see how they work, but I will pop one of these in each giveaway pack. So the way the giveaway is gonna work, you can check the description box below and I will explain. But I'm basically, a lot of these things I got four of. So I will like take one of these pens. I'll take one of the erasers, one of the pens and I will put them into all the different bags and then I'll pick one of these pencil cases. So each one will have like an assortment of a bunch of different cute stationery. Check the description box below and you will see how to enter and what to do. Okay, next. Ah yes, tape. This is tape in all different colors. Yes, there's green tape. Very exciting. They're just cute little rolls of tape and I kind of thought that these could be good for when I do makeup swatches. I'll put some of these in the giveaway as well and I'll keep some for myself. I suppose we'll probably keep the green, will we, Archie? Is that how this is gonna work? Next! Archie, you're making this very difficult. What do I do with you? Here, yeah, just go over there. Okay, 
Okay, what's this? More pens. <gasps> okay, these I couldn't resist. They just have like breakfast all over them. So I think these are paces. Yeah, they are, they're paces, mechanical pencils. So they have toast and baguettes and cats and croissants on them. So one of each of these will also go in the giveaway as well. This is cute. It's a stapler that looks like a panda and it came with some little refills too. Feels actually pretty good. Like it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart. It feels like it's pretty well made. Let them fight. Next. <gasps> Archie's gonna love this. I'm so glad he's here for this reveal. What is it Archie? Do you see? It's something green and he can see it's something green. Check it out! It's a little green owl! Little green birdie! What do you think? You wanna kiss? Subscribe for the green bird. So that's a pencil sharpener. It's got two holes in the base. This came in many different colors, but of course I had to get green. You have to open him to get the shavings out. You just have to behead him. I'm so glad these turned up. These are highlighters that look like little pills. They are so cute. Look, Archie. Pick one for me to try. Pick one. Ah! Trust Archie to choose green. I got this white out. This is like back in the day when we used to have best friend necklaces where, you know, you'd each take one half of the love heart. I suppose if you're at school and you buy one of these, you can give your best friend one half of the white out. Hey, Archie, you're breaking my heart. That is the cutest white out I have ever seen. I love it. How cute is that? Oh, these are bookmarks. I forgot about these. This box is so cute. It's covered in animals. Any birds? No birds. Whoa, there's so many of them. What the hell? It's an entire pack of these like paper bookmarks and each one has a different animal on them. They're so cute. So I, I think it's almost like a ruler as well. Yeah, they've got little measurement things on them. And I think that you pop out the center of it and then you can like fold it over pages. Like, I, I'm not entirely sure how it's supposed to work, but it, it's a bookmark and there's a whole bunch of them. So if you have a pet bird like me that tries to destroy one, well, you've got about 50 others, so it's fine. Next. I don't think I've ever opened so many parcels from Wish. Ah, yes, more pens. So there's only three of these. Now these have sushi on them. So these are mechanical, I think these are mechanical pencils. So there's a blue, a pink and a white. They have sushi all over them and they are so adorable. And these feel really, really, really well made. I'm very, very surprised. What are you? What? Well, this is in foam. Why are you in foam? If this is something like a pen, I'm gonna laugh so hard. Calculator! A clear calculator. I had never seen anything like this before. Like you can literally see straight through it. So does it work? Oh my god, it works. So I think it's solar powered. I, I don't know what witchcraft makes this work. How, how does this work? It's literally, it's a clear calculator. I don't understand. This is 2018. Science has gone too far. And then it also comes with little stickers so you can decorate it how you please. Ah, these are rainbow pencils. I had never seen anything like this before. So what we'll do, the pencil itself on the inside is rainbow and I don't know how they made that, but this is an awesome, awesome concept because the sharpenings are going to be little rainbows. Okay, these are kind of like post-it notes, I guess. Oh my gosh, that's right. This is a booklet full of little sticky notes. So you're supposed to fold like this? I think? Yes, like that. <laughs> so it's like a little booklet. You open it up and it's full of little sea life stickers. Oh my God, this little whale and the little stingray. Ah, they are so cute. <gasps> this makes me want to study something. I just want to study anything so that I can put these to good use. They are so, so adorable. It says, I love the happy whales. <laughs> I do, I love the happy whales. There's more, believe it or not, there is more. These are scissors incredibly fancy but it, they are scissors that say 
sweet secret. They're literally just pink scissors. There you go, guys. Wow. Okay, what's next? More pens. Oh, that's right. Now these are themed pens. These are like Sanrio carry. Oh, whoa. Okay, so there's a Totoro pen. There is a Kumamon pen. A Cheese Sweet Home. Rila Kuma. Doraemon. And Pokemon. Wow, these are made really well. Are these colored? Hang on. No, these feel amazing. Like these are made so, so well. They're kind of like rubbery, silicony kind of feeling, but they are so cute. This, if this is what I think it is, this is exciting. Ah, yes. <laughs> Don't mock me. These are again by Bentoy. So they are notepads, but one of them looks like an old school DS. The other one looks like I guess like Microsoft Word, old school Microsoft Word. They are so cool. And these came in heaps of different styles as well. So what I'm gonna do is test out some of the stationery on these so you can see it all working. Next. Oh, okay. This is so weird. Couldn't help myself when I saw it on the website. It is a box of matchsticks, except they're erasers. Check it out. Look, they're matches. So it's like a little matchbox, but each one is an eraser. A little, a little bit random, but I feel like if you pulled that out of your pencil case, that is, ugh, it's too cute. I wish they kind of like had a thing on the side that looked like, you know, something that you could like. Tch, tch. Ah yes, glue sticks. This one looks like a seal and this one looks like a panda. I'll have to try and glue something to something and see how it works. This is the last thing. I hope it's good. This is a little packet full of pens. So you pop this off and then they all come out. Oh no, and so did the spring. Oh no, I broke it. What have I done? <gasps> no, ah! I, I ruined it. The spring fell out. I think that they were supposed to pop up, I'm pretty sure. So the way that it's supposed to work is you're supposed to be able to pull that little top and then the pens pop up. So Wish has really good customer service. If anything goes wrong, you can just contact them and say it's broken and they'll give you a refund. 